Okay guys, I'm going to show you how to multiply a decimal by a decimal. Previously, I showed you how to multiply a decimal by a whole number. Now, we're going to show you how to multiply a decimal by a decimal. There is one rule you need to remember. Let's see how it's done. 1.2 times 3.4. We notice that there is a decimal times a decimal. What we do, we disregard the points, just for now. So we do a normal multiplication, pretending the points don't exist, just for now. Let's do it. 4 times 2, 8. 4 times 1, 4. Then, we move to the next number. We have to put our magic 0. 3 times 2 is 6. 3 times 1 is 3. Now, what do we do next? What do you think? We have to add them up. 8 plus 0 is 8. 4 plus 6 is 10. We carry the 1. 1 plus 3 is 4. So we've got our answer. However, we said we disregard the points just for now. Now that we've got a solution, we need to go back and see and follow a certain rule. The rule says that whatever number of decimal places are in the question have to be in the answer. Meaning, if there are two decimal places in the question, that means there has to be two decimal places in the answer. Now, before I move on, remember, decimal places are different to decimal points. I've had too many students mix up between points, decimal points, and decimal places. Decimal places are numbers that come after the point. Decimal places are numbers that come after the point. So, how many decimal places are here? There is one here and one there. So in the question, there are two decimal places. In the answer, we need to have two decimal places. So where do we put our point? 4.08. Two decimal places in the question, two decimal places in the answer. So, I repeat, two decimal places in the question, two decimal places in the answer. If there was three decimal places in the question, three decimal places in the answer. If there was five decimal places in the question, five decimal places have to go in the answer. That's the rule. Let's do another one and you'll get the hang of it. We have 0 0.25 times 1.7. 0 0.25 times 1.7. We disregard the points for now. Let's do it as a normal multiplication. 7 times 5, 35. 7 times 2, 14. Plus 3, 17. Carry the 1. 7 times 0 is 0. Plus 1. We put our 1. Then we put our magic 0 because we're going to the next number. 1 times 5 is 5. 1 times 2 is 2. And 1 times 0 is 0. And now we add them up. 5 plus 0 is 5. 7 plus 5, 12. Carry the 1. 1 plus 1, 2. And plus 2 is 4. And we can put our 0 just for now. We ask ourselves the question, how many decimal places are there in the question? There are 1 two, three decimal places in the question, which means there has to be three decimal places in the answer. One, two, three, 0 0.452. So we complete our multiplication as normal. We go back and ask ourselves how many decimal places are there? One, two, three decimal places in the question. That means there has to be three decimal places in the answer. One, two, and Three. Hopefully now the picture has become better. Now let's look at the next one and see how it's done. We have 0 0.6 times 0 0.3. Follow with me and I'm pretty sure you've got the hang of it by now. We disregard the points. We do our normal multiplication. 3 times 6, 18. 3 times 0 is 0. 
plus the 1 is 1. Now 0 times 6, 0, we don't need to do that because that's basically all going to be 0. So our answer is 18, however we have decimal points. So we know that we have to have the same decimal places in the question, the same decimal places in the answer. We ask ourselves how many decimal places are there in the question. There is one decimal place there, another decimal place there. So there are two decimal places in the question, which means two decimal places in the answer. One, two, we put our point, 0 0.18. Two decimal places in the question means two decimal places in the answer. Then we have another example, 0 0.09 squared. And we learn squared means times itself. So 0 0.09 times 0 0.09. Let's see how this is going to be done. 0 0.09 times 0 0.09. Let's do it. 9 times 9, we know is 81. 9 times 0 is 0 plus 8 is 8, 9 times 0 is 0. Now, we can keep going, but we know we're going to get zeros all the way. 0 times 9, 0 times 0, 0 times 0, same thing here. So there's no point keeping going. We know 0, 8, 1. Now, we go to our rule and we say, how many decimal places are there in the question? In the, in the question there are 1, 2, 3, four decimal places in the question. One, two, three, four decimal places in the question. We know decimal places are the numbers that come after the points. One, two, three, four. Four decimal places in the question, meaning four decimal places in the answer. One, two, three, four. There they are. One, two, three, four. 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. Four decimal places in the question, and in the answer, and four decimal places in the question. So our final result, 0 0.0081. As you can see, we are going through, we are following the steps. It's a simple multiplication. The only rule we need to remember is the same number of decimal places in the question is the same number of decimal places in the answer. We did one, two, three, four examples and you may want to watch it again to get used to it and the more you practice the better you're going to become.